Hello and welcome. This short video has been produced to help you prepare for the Fundamentals Unit 1 and Unit 2 test on fire detection and alarm systems. In order to take the examination, you will be provided with a copy of the British Standard BS 5839 Part 1, Code of Practice for Design, Installation, Commissioning and Maintenance of Systems in Non-Domestic Premises. When you have completed the examination, please leave the copy that has been issued to you on the desk before you leave. And please do not write or mark on or in the copy that has been issued to you. As many of you will have sat the Unit 1 and Unit 2 course remotely, we would have been unable to issue a copy of the British Standard to you during the course, as would normally be the case in order to allow for your familiarisation with the Code of Practice. This video has therefore been produced not to teach the requirements of BS 5839 Part 1, but to offer guidance on how to navigate the code of practice, both during the examination and as you continue to go forward and work as an effective and valued member of the industry. The sequence of questions within the exam will follow the sequence of BS 5839 Part 1. It is therefore beneficial to understand how the code of practice is structured and how to navigate through the document using the contents page at the beginning of the standard. It would also be beneficial to keep a note of where you referred to for the information relating to the previous question. BS 5839 Part 1 does not have an in-depth section. This makes the contents page the ideal starting point when locating the relevant clauses within the document. As you may recall from the course, BS 5839 Part 1 is divided into seven sections plus the annexes. Before the exam begins, please take some time to become familiar with the information provided within the contents page and consider how best to use them. During the exam, try to determine which clause you require in relation to a given question by reviewing the information within the contents section. Then refer to the associated page number detailed along the right-hand edge to locate the actual clause within BS 5839 Part 1. The sections follow the general sequence of operations you'd expect to encounter on most projects. Section 1 contains the clauses for general information and requirements. Section 2 contains the clauses for the design considerations. Section 3 looks at the recommendations for the limitation of false alarms and unwanted fire signals. Section 4 covers the installation requirements. Section 5 looks at the commissioning and handover process, through to Section 6 for maintenance, and on to Section 7 for user responsibilities. The final part of the Code of Practice details Annexes A through to G. Annex A provides information on the choice of appropriate category of fire detection and fire alarm system. Annex B details information relating to the typical noise levels within buildings. Annex C relates to the control and transmission equipment for tactile alarm devices provided for people who are deaf and hard of hearing. Annex D details the method for calculating the standby battery capacity. Annex E relates to the selection and application of fire detectors. Annex F provides detailed information on the format for the system logbook and Annex G details information relating to the model certificates. Each clause section provides both commentary and recommendations. The commentary sections are written in italics and they provide explanatory, informative information and do not constitute a normative element or a requirement of BS 5839 Part 1. The recommendations of BS 5839 Part 1, i.e. the provisions of the standard, are written in Roman type text. The recommendations do constitute a requirement of BS 5839 Part 1 and are termed normative. The annexes are also termed to be either normative or informative in the same sense as the commentary and the recommendations. There are some other clauses that may become useful during the exam. Clause 2 titled Normative References, provides information on other documents and standards that are referred to within BS 5839 Part 1 
and Clause 3, which provides details on some of the terms and definitions used within BS 5839 Part 1. Before the examination, you will also be provided with FIA exam note paper. You may use the exam note paper during the examination to make notes and to work through your answers to aid you during the examination. Please do not mark on or use the exam note paper before the examination begins. Also, please remember to leave the exam note paper on the table before you leave. If you need to contact the FAA ahead of your examination, please email training at fia.uk.com or contact 020 3166 5002. We would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for undertaking training with the FIA. Good luck with the examination and we hope to see you again on future courses.